Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Crown Conversations. And for today's video, ang kasama natin is of course the president of Mr. Grand International who's happening here in Spain, in Huelva and in Sevilla this coming January. Let's welcome Uno. Hi, Bozotus. Uh, it's an honor to be in your show. For sure. And uh, for everybody's information, you live in Paris. How long have you lived in Paris? Jabita Paris depuis 2011. Oh? No entiendo. I've been living in Paris since 2011. Okay. And uh, how long have how long is Mr. Grand International already? I think Mr. Grand started in 2017. Mm -hmm. Our first winner is actually from Australia. Uh-huh. And... and this is like what's the edition this is like the sixth edition because we need uh -huh. to stop during covid covid yeah, yeah the pandemic okay let's start with serious conversations first okay my first question is what's your take on gays joining male pageants considering that there's also mr gay pageant we have to realize that pageants has been evolving Mm -hmm. um, even for Miss Universe, there are yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, trans um, candidates. Candidates, yes. So for me, people should be very open-minded about this mm -hmm. because I think one of the biggest problem this world is still facing right now is equality. Okay. I mean, uh, straight men and women are paying the same taxes as gay people. So That's why true. are gay people being deprived of their rights? If they want to join male pageants, mm -hmm. they can join. I'll There's no problem. There's no problem. Okay. And of course, your um, reigning Mr. Grand International is Michael. How can you describe Michael? Michael is very humble, mm -hmm. he's very kind, he's very cooperative, hardworking. He is representing the brand very well. I mean, we would travel mm -hmm. from place to place. I mean, the moment he, he was crowned in Trinidad and Tobago last November, after one week, we already have our, uh, what do you call this? We already have our engagement because we were mm -hmm. invited for the Mr. and Miss Belgium, and then we went to the Philippines, we were guests with CNN Philippines, mm -hmm. Kanda Umaga, and February, he was doing Milan Fashion Week mm -hmm. already with Mike and Cinco, and even like two weeks ago, during mm -hmm. the Paris Fashion Week, he was able to walk again with, with Michael, Michael Cinco, Cinco yeah, Michael Leba, and um, he has met uh, Miss Universe Arbony. Yeah, yeah, because Arbony walked with Michael Cinco so, as well. Yeah, so they are both in the mm -hmm. same show. In Paris Fashion yeah. Week. Yes, uh, considering that the name is Mr. Grand International, um, hindi ba nagalit si Nawat? Sa... Personally, I haven't spoken to him, so I um, don't have any answer with this question. Uh, do you have the same advocacy with Miss? I or don't know. I'm not aware of their advocacy. The uh -huh. We stopped uh, the war. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Our advocacy is... Um, we live by our mission vision, and that uh -huh. is sensible masculinity, limitless mm -hmm. potential, and outstanding sportsmanship. I think all pageants should have their own mission vision, and for us, this is what we have. But you're okay with Mr. Nawat, considering that the Mr. is with you and the Miss is with Pero wala naman. I don't know. I don't know him. I don't think he knows me. If he knows uh, yeah, me, Yeah, that's then, true. Then and he cares? Okay. Does he care? I don't know if he cares because he didn't register Mr. Grand International. Exactly. So you can, you know, you have the, the right for that. Yeah. That's true. Okay. What do you look for in the new Mr. Grand International? He has to be someone who is willing to take the brand to mm -hmm. another level. I mean, now that I am the president of Mr. Grand International, we want them to know that Mr. Grand International is not just like any kind of um, pageant, yeah. pageant um, that um, we are um, sincere and mm -hmm. authentic with our advocacy and we support other pageants. I think pageants should mm -hmm. be supporting each other instead of competing one another. That's very yeah. true. And what can we look forward in the new edition here in Spain? We've been preparing and working hard a lot. Mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, I, I have finished already the schedule, even for the finals, I have the lead and everything. Mm -hmm. Even for the dinner on the first night where there will be dancers, mm -hmm. there will be dancing flamenco. Flamenco from so we, Seville. We, yeah, we want them to experience the vibe and the flavor mm -hmm. of Spain. And this is the first time that Spain is actually hosting an international pageant be a miss or a mister. So actually, we are doing history here. Sure, no, because Spain, well, pageantry in Spain is not that big. Well, considering Mr. R&B also is big now. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's starting. But okay. We, we are grateful because the local government of Sevilla and Huelva are supporting us. That's all. Thank you so much for gracing Crown Conversations. The pleasure is mine and I'm looking forward to seeing you and your team in Huelva. For in sure, Sevilla. we're gonna be there. January 8th for Mr. Grand International. Finals will be January 14th. Exactly. From January 8th to 14th in Huelva and Seville here in Spain. So kung if you are in Spain, pumunta na kayo doon at manood tayong lahat. Bye! Bye.